let's talk a little bit about mitosis and the number of chromosomes and the massive DNA that's present. Mm. So if you start with a cell, and we're going to start with a cell that has just two chromosomes in it. Mm. So this is a 2N cell. Yeah. And this is a 2N cell, and n equals 1, so 2n equals 2. Mm -hmm. So you are obviously have got n equals 23. Yep. So you've got 46 chromosomes in total. Mm -hmm. Now, in mitosis, the first phase you have is interphase. And what happens in interphase? We have semi-conservative replication of DNA, mm -hmm. protein synthesis, and organelle synthesis. Mm -hmm. Now when you see interphase, the nuclear membrane is there, and then you've got a great big mass of unraveled nuclear material <coughs> all going through semi-conservative replication. Yeah. And all of the new nucleotides that come in and join up with DNA polymerase, mm. they all come from digestion. Or now, at the end of interphase, the chromosomes coil up, condense, mm. wrap themselves around protein, and what you see is you see nuclear membrane, Sorry, not a into a nucleus, mm. and you see a nuclear membrane, and then you see the chromosomes. Now, how many chromosomes do we have here? Two. How many chromosomes have we got here? Two. What's happened to the quantity of DNA? It's remained the same. How can we have two chromatids forming a chromosome, whereas here we had a single chromatid, we have a single chromosome. So what's happened is between this stage, between interphase, well, as a result of interphase, mm -hmm. then the number of chromosomes has stayed the same, okay. but the quantity of DNA mm -hmm. has doubled because oh, each okay. strand of DNA has been yeah. pulled apart and has been copied by semi-conservative replication. So okay. between, during interphase, mm. the number of chromosomes stays the same. Mm -hmm. You've still got, in you, you've still got 46 chromosomes. Yeah. But now, those 46 chromosomes have gone from being like that to being like this, two chromatids joined together by a centromere. Yeah. So now the rest of um, mitosis is a story of taking that cr those chromosomes and pulling them apart. So the nuclear membrane breaks down and then they line up on the equator And then you have, so you've had interphase, and you have prophase, then you have metaphase, when they line up on the middle. Mm -hmm. Then you have anaphase, where they get pulled apart, and then telophase, where you get two nuclear membranes. Mm -hmm. So now what's going to happen is that you're going to have a spindle fibres, mm -hmm. and the centromeres attach to the spindle fibres, and then it pulls them apart. So we get pulls them apart in anaphase. Mm -hmm. to opposite poles of the cell. Mm -hmm. Then, in telophase, you get new nuclear membranes forming around them. So, between 
here in prophase how many chromosomes have we got there we in prophase we have two chromosomes yeah. at the end of telophase mm -hmm. we end up with two chromosomes mm -hmm. and two chromosomes but the quantity of dna mm -hmm. in each nuclei mm -hmm. has halved the number of chromosomes has stayed the same because okay. remember when you've got a chromosome like this, this is two chromatids with a centromere in it mm. forming a chromosome. When it pulls apart their chromosomes. Yep. So here is one chromosome in a nucleus. When we pull it apart, we've then got one chromosome in a nucleus and one chromosome in a nucleus. But the quantity of DNA between here mm. and here has halved. Yeah. You see that? Yeah. Okay. So then this goes on this stage. So that was telophase, where you formed the two new nuclear membranes. Yeah. And then this is going to split into two new cells with two new nuclei. And each of those is going to have two chromosomes. So we started up here. This cell that we started with mm -hmm. had two chromosomes. Yeah. We then replicated in interphase, so the amount of DNA doubled, yeah. but the number of chromosomes stayed the same. Okay, yes. Then they've lined up in metaphase, yeah. then they've been pulled apart, the centromeres have split in anaphase and telophase, yeah. and then we've gone into with cytokinesis and they've split into two separate cells. So we've ended up with two 2N cells. Mm -hmm. So we've gone from this 2N cell to this 2N cell and this 2N cell, which will be genetically identical. Mm. So this is how you know, organisms grow in size, is that they have more cells. Yep. And this is how you achieve it. So the semi-conservative replication that occurs in interphase produces these chromosomes. Each chromosome is a replicated chromatid. So these two are identical because these have been pulled apart by in semi-conservative replication and copied by DNA polymerase. Mm -hmm. So they contain one old strand and one new strand. Yes. These that then p line up in metaphase, get pulled apart in anaphase, and then form two separate cells. Mm -hmm. 